Did you know a gunshot wound helped create Microsoft PowerShell? Back in his startup days, Jeffrey Snover, the man who invented PowerShell, was called to a hospital. Their system was crashing, and it was running his pre-release software. This wasn't just another bad day at work. This was the Elvis Presley Memorial Trauma Center, and real patients' lives were on the line. Snover was stitching together broken database records by hand. One read, gunshot wound, abdomen. He had to connect it with lab data just to make sense of the situation. That's when it hit him. If tools fail here, people can die. But the hospital story was just part of it. Behind the scenes, Snover was literally sleeping on data center floors, eating from vending machines, and going days without a shower while trying to keep systems alive. And out of that chaos came clarity. At 3 a.m., when you're exhausted and under pressure, your tools need to be clear, predictable, and readable. Not cryptic like Perl, not dense like line noise. That's why PowerShell is verbose. That's why it uses verb noun commands like get process or set item. Because when it really matters, clarity is everything. Snover later joked, if that guy hadn't been shot, we might not have PowerShell today. A gunshot wound in a Memphis hospital. Nights on data center floors. Desperation, exhaustion, and resilience. All of it shaped one of the most important automation tools in the world. So next time you run a PowerShell script, remember, it was born out of crisis, built for clarity, and designed to save you when it matters most.